Good afternoon, everyone. This is Sabrina Protick. It is a beautiful day in Florida, beautiful. So I just came back from my, my wellness walk. It's that thing I do every day because I'm sheltering in place and I'm working out of my home. And so I have to make sure that I do that. So I wanna mention that every time I get on here to remind all of you to get your walk in or to do something physical. I am Sabrina Protick. You can find me at sabrinaprotick.com. So today to me is Wellness Wednesday. I have an anti-aging website called Ageless Techniques and normally I send out something every Wednesday that relates to your overall well-being, whether it's mental or physical, you know, whatever it is that makes you feel better about yourself and to improve your health naturally, that's what I do. I kind of started Ageless Techniques because in my mind I had found the fountain of youth. Um, and I wanted to share that. Uh, you know, I have great complexion, physically fit. I'm not on anything except two products and they're wellness products, they're healthy. I'm so glad, I'm so happy and I wanna keep it that way. So I wanted to, uh, you know, be a benefit to my network. And so that's what I do. In addition to being an author, I uh, launched a book last year and also I do some life coaching and business coaching and I'm all over the place. It's whatever I can do to empower you. But today, what I want to talk to you about is the importance of vitamin D3. As I'm out getting my walk, and I have some notes here because I says I'm not, I'm not gonna take credit for this, I'm not a doctor. So I wanna get that disclaimer out there. I am not a doctor, I'm not any type of licensed healthcare professional, but I am a reader. And one of the places that I go to is the National Institute of Health. I love that website. And so before I came on here, I Googled vitamin D3 three and the benefits of d3 and what do you think came up the national institute of health so you can go right there uh, national i think it's uh well i'm, I'm forgetting pubmed.gov pubmed.gov is the national Inter institute of health that's where a lot of medical professionals go and if you would like this article i'll be happy to send it to you you can give me your email address in this thread or uh, instant, private message me and I'll be happy to just share this article with you. But it talks about vitamin D3 and why it's important. We hear about that, but why is it important? Well, it's important because it's a natural hormone that you can get from the sun. So I'm gonna give you just a few statistics. 50% of the population is deficient in vitamin D3. That equates to about a billion people. That's a lot. Now, that number is going to go up, and you know why? Because we're sheltering in place now. More people are at home, which means they're not outside, and they're not getting their vitamin D3. So, hey, Peggy, how you doing? Um, they're, we're not getting that necessary hormone. Also, if you wear long sleeves all the time, you cover up all the time, you're denying yourself a vitamin three, D3. So, there's vitamin D2, and there's D3. We're talking about D3 right now. So, how do you get D3? Well... The body can naturally make it. That's right, it's a hormone, and your body naturally makes it. I'm out of my pool deck and I'm enjoying it. And when the sunlight, when those UVB rays hit your skin, your body, according to this article on the National Institute of Health, starts to make your skin, the skin starts to make D3 naturally. That's right, it makes it naturally. Now you can also get D3 and some foods, and that would be salmon, mackerel, and what was the other one? Um, there's three, and herring. Salmon, mackerel, and herring. There may be more, but those three were listed in that article that you can get it from. I don't know about you, I love my salmon, but I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go for the one where you get it naturally, where my body makes it. So let's get outside and get some of that good sunlight. Now we don't mean roasting in the sun and getting sunburns and that kind of thing and causing skin cancer. We're talking about a moderate amount of sunlight. Get out, breathe the fresh air, and at the same time your body is working, your skin is working. Aren't we wonderfully made? We are wonderfully made. Here are some things that can happen if your body is deficient in D3. You can be subject, according to the article, it says studies studies suggest that a deficiency in D3 can um, contribute to chronic disease. So what are some chronic diseases? It mentioned heart disease, cancer, 
fractures and falls and guess what this is a big one this is a really big one influenza influenza we're all talking about this COVID 19 and all you know the flu bug and all this influenza think about it what destroys or what kind of buffers the coronavirus heat heat i mean think about it don't say i said that i got this out of the national institute of health and it says influenza also type 2 diabetes so i really suggest that you read this article in depth i i learned a lot of things from this also guess what there is a food mushrooms that have been exposed to the sunlight have vitamin d3 now how would you know if the mushrooms were exposed to sunlight that i don't know so don't ask me because i think mushrooms flourish when it's dark but still this is what the what this scientific article said so i encourage you to get your d3 and how do you get it getting some natural sunlight i i love being out here i have a beautiful view uh, get going out and doing a walk and again that's moderate sunlight so that your body can make its own natural vitamin d3 processing right in your skin so i love bringing new things to you i love sharing wholesomeness and goodness sometimes i'm going to talk about business i'm going to talk about entrepreneurial things sometimes i'm just going to talk about a healthy mind and because all of those things all of those things are part of what I call living ageless. And you'll see me talk about living ageless, anti-ageless. How do you how do you live in that zone? How do you belong to that community by keeping your body healthy and strong, keeping your mind healthy and strong, staying physically fit, staying active, and that's really the key to it. So that's what I am all about, Sabrina Protic. You can find me at sabrinaprotic.com. There you will find things even about my women's empowerment organization. I always have to throw that out because that's near and dear to my heart. So if you're looking for an organization to belong to, you're a female entrepreneur and you want that sense of belonging. Uh, last night we did a SWOT analysis by Professor Kishbaugh. She did a fantastic job. Boy, she broke that thing down. She's known as a queen of SWAT when she was getting her degree. So um, we just bring a lot of things to the table. Thank you for those of you that tuned in to watch. If you missed it, catch it on the replay. Tomorrow, we'll talk about something different, but it's Wellness Wednesday. I welcome you to follow follow me, join me. I'm also on Instagram under Sabrina Protic and um, Facebook under Sabrina Protic. I'd love to have you as part of my network. And um, I will talk to you later. Remember, SabrinaProtic.com. Also, if you click on a little button in my website, you get a little freebie. Go out there and find out what it is, but I've created a free tool for you. It's a, it's a wellness guide on how to uh, balance work life at home. I even talk about some of these fitness things that we're talking about. Didn't talk about vitamin D3, but I talk about how to keep a cool, calm head, even when the little kitties are home or the hubby's home. So enough of your time. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will talk to you later. Bye.